Hey guys, it's Sophia. I'm here at the Biasons headquarters. A little bit windy outside right now. Um, and we're about to go into the lab to see how their products are made. So follow along. So since Biasons is a completely clean skincare brand, I am a little intrigued to see how they make their products. I'm just assuming that there's gonna be some muddling, some mortar and pestles, making some guacamole back there with some rose petals. Let's see how it goes. Okay, going into the lab now. A lot of signage. Looking very official. Hi. Oh, hi. Are you Sophia? I am. I'm nice Ramia. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, this is Ramia, chemist extraordinaire. Need a, need a lab coat. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're fancy here. Would you it. mind holding this for a sec? Yeah, thank you. Do we have to fully button it up? Yes, you do. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, I get glasses, too. Okay. okay. Let's see. All right. Has a look. All right. So where are we headed? We are going to our Biosense working space, our lab bench, and I'm going to walk you through how we make one of our new products, a vitamin C rose mask. Oh, my gosh. All right. Procedures and kind of what they do. This is not nearly as hippy dippy as I was expecting being here in San Francisco. This is very official, much equipment. A lot goes into it. What is this? This looks dangerous. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually a viscometer, so we use that to measure product thickness. Oh, yeah. all right. I feel like I'm back in middle school science class. I'm learning a lot already. Do I need to watch any safety instructional videos? Are we good? Um. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down right here. All right, thank you so much for having me here. This is already such an experience. Of course. So what do you do here? Um, so I work in the product development team at Biosense. Um, I'm responsible for kind of putting together our formulas, okay. um, everything from selecting the ingredients to finishing off our formulas. So it's something that you get to you know, touch and feel and wear. Let's talk dream job, um, so cool. <laughs> Okay, and then what is clean skincare actually from a lab perspective? So I like to think about it, a good example is to compare it to food, right? You're okay. more mindful about what you're eating. Yes, um, I buy the organic ketchup. To, yeah, try to find yeah. a better quality, what takes more effort and what's free of certain ingredients that might be questionable. Okay. Put that into skincare and it just kind of makes for better quality products. All right, so I had no idea that we were coming into such a scientific lab area. I thought we were going to walk into some sort of guacamole making mortar and pestle kitchen. No, not <laughs> at all. Like We have to make sure we standardize everything. Everything can be measured out properly. There's certain processes just to make sure we ensure consistency oh, wow. um, for products. And you have amazing skin, so all of this must work. You're doing something right. It's the squalene. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. What inspires you to make new products? Like, How do you think of them? Um, Sometimes I think about them in the shower. Um, shower thoughts, <laughs> amazing. Yeah, so sometimes we look at um, our key ingredient is squalene. So okay. How we can use that in products to make them better. Um, so cool. So trying to find different applications for that and thinking of products we already like and just enhancing them or optimizing them in some way. Does that make it harder to develop products? Yes, it does. Okay, so you actually use all of the product that you make in the lab? I do. So I use them when they're still lab samples. I don't wow. sample anything to anyone until I've used it myself just to make sure it works and it performs. Oh my gosh. Um, so my bathroom cabinet is full of little white jars, <laughs> little sticker labels on them. Okay, and then do you have like favorite Biasance products? Um, absolute favorite is the one we're actually going to work on today. No way. So, yeah. Okay, so what is this favorite product of yours? our new vitamin C rose mask. Whoa. Yeah. Um, Sounds beautiful. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and then what does it do? Like why would someone use this mask? It's an all around brightening and moisturizing mask. Um, it just kind of gives you this instant radiance. Um, Who doesn't want that? that? Okay. I'm so excited. I think we just have to jump into it. Let's make this thing. Okay. Let's go for it. This does not look like roses that you get at the farmer's market. So, very intrigued here. Can you tell me what's going on here? The idea was to use squalane along with um, vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid. Okay. Is right here. This is the purest form of vitamin C. Can we right look there? at that? That 
Wow. So the idea behind using um, why we put it into this product yeah. um, is that, I don't know if you've seen some of your series, but a lot of times vitamin C products tend to turn brown over oh, time. totally. And then I'm like, what's wrong with them? What's yeah. happening here? Because they're oxidizing, and that normally happens on air exposure, and ascorbic acid isn't normally stable. Um, so the idea was to put it into um, a squalene-based gel um, to sort of protect the ascorbic acid, and that's why the product stays um, stable. What else do we have here? So we have squalene, of course, because that's always our um, star ingredient in everything. That's what gives you the emolliency. We have a little bit of glycerin for moisture, um, so long-term moisture. It doesn't. It looks kind of like syrup. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of um, rose auto oil, which is this essential oil. Um, gives this really beautiful aroma and kind of calms you down and it's really relaxing and therapeutic. Okay. Um, we have a little bit of rose flower powder because why not? Right. <laughs> this is one of those products that you don't know you need until you start using it. Um, and how often do you use this? I use it every morning before I get ready for the day. Wow. Yeah. All right, so that's why you're glowing. That, that must be it. I guess. <laughs> I think it's just sweat. I need this. Um, so now we're gonna add our rose auto oil. So smell that. That is so nice. Yes, I want that all over my face. It's really great for calming your skin down. So now, we give that a mix. Right, this is not your everyday DIY kitchen mask. I feel like I've tried doing this with like avocado and egg whites and it looks nothing like this. Okay, okay so um, now that it's all mixed up in the KitchenAid there. Can I try it? Um, so see how it's this beautiful <gasps> oh, translucent that is so gel. so nice. Um, so rub that once and see how it starts out. Pretty translucent. Just keep rubbing that in. Um, and you can see it transforming into a cream. Oh my gosh. Because it's activated on contact with your skin. So make sure that it that really is working. so cool. That is so different from when you put it on my hand. And what's nice is when you put it on, you can actually see it working. You can see a difference and you know that you kind of know when to stop massaging it. In. Yeah. Um, and then you leave it on for you know, 10, 15 minutes in the morning, rinse it off. Yeah. Okay, so what is the purpose of this? Like what's going to happen to my hand after? <laughs> um, so if you wash it off right away, you will find that your skin is almost instantly rosier and brighter. Um, and kind of just smooths, evens everything out. Look at that. Definitely looks a lot nicer than my other hand. Yeah. For sure. Um, so it's just an overall radiance boosting mask. You see it working right away. Um, and it's really nice to just give you that rosy glow right before you put on the rest of your skincare or your morning makeup in the day. I would never think that clean skincare could have instant results. Yeah, it can. That's amazing. Okay, so can I, can I steal that one then? Uh, yeah, this is actually for you to take home. Thank you. Go. you. Oh, every morning, I want to look like her, so this is this is going to be my routine. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're this was welcome. so fun. Now that I get free product out of this, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow. Um, maybe not tomorrow because we have some other things going on. There's a lot of work that goes. Into I'll text everything. you first. All right. But <laughs> <laughs> we could definitely set up another time to just come on and see what we're working on. So exciting! Thank you, Ramia. Welcome. <laughs> So I just finished up here in the lab at Biosance and this was really incredible. I learned so much from Ramia. I'm like basically a chemist now. Do chemists pop their collars? I don't know. Let's see. So I'll be making all of the Biosance products from now on. Anytime you use one, you can think of me. Just kidding. I'll, I'll leave it to her. She, she's much better at it. But I'm really excited to try out this mask. If you guys want to see how I use it to prep my skin for makeup, you can click up here and watch this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited about In the Lab here at Biasance, subscribe to the Biasance YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.